video, I'm going to read a story today called Fame Mouse, and the author is Joshua George. Let's find out what happens. In an ordinary mouse hole house lived an extraordinary mouse. A mouse of such stupendous fame, that fame a mouse was his name. Animals came from near and far, some came by train, some came by car, some came by plane, some came by bus, the meerkats made an awful fuss. There was a sign outside the door, Fame Mouse, here from nine till four, a line stretched from outside the house, all waiting to see Fame Mouse. A platypus, porcupine and three seals, seven piglets filled the air with squeals. Two lions lined up behind a cow. The ants were all jumbled anyhow. A toucan said to a kangaroo, I can't wait to see him, how about you? The kangaroo bounced and hopped and leapt, I'm so excited I've hardly slept. Right at the front pushed a herd of sheep, piled one on the other, a big woolly heap. The crowd grew noisier outside the house, all waiting to see Fame Mouse. Then a crow flew by and said, Cuckoo! What's that mouse so famous for? I mean, does he dance or anything? Or is he some sort of mousy kin? What do you think? Do you think he's a mouse kin? Let's find out. The crowd fell silent. No one was sure. What was Fame Mouse so famous for? Perhaps he could act or maybe sing. Crow laughed. He can't do anything. At that, the animals began to boo, snakes and otters and emu too. The smallest meerkat jumped up and spoke, famous for nothing, what a joke. A bear wandered off in a dreadful grump, a camel grunted, I've got the hump. All of them left in a cloud of dust, the elephants trumpeting in disgust. But Cat licked his lips thoughtfully. I think that I might stay for tea. I hope you enjoyed that story. I wonder what mouse is really fame mouse for. Have a think. Bye for now.